So after you've sonicated the graphene oxide in water and let the suspension settle for a while, you can actually use it to demonstrate an effect in physics known as the Tyndall effect. So if you have three different lasers of, of uh, different frequencies, so red, green and blue, you can actually show that the um, nanoparticulate solution can um, scatter the blue light more than the red light and likewise can scatter the green light more than the red light. So therefore you should see the red light become um, more visible or transmit itself easier in the nanoparticulate solution than green and blue and likewise you should see the green light trans be transmitted more easily than the blue light. So the Tyndall effect is essentially that the intensity of the scattered light depends on the fourth power of the frequency. So lower frequency radiation, say red, will be transmitted uh, with higher intensity than blue and green. And likewise, uh, the lower frequency green relative to the blue should be transmitted more easily than the blue. So the Tyndall effect is apparent in uh, nanocomposite uh, suspensions, say, such as graphene oxide in water, um, when the distance between the particles is on the order of the, the electromagnetic, um, the visible um, spectrum of uh, electromagnetic radiation, so typically uh, around 900 nanometers. So, red, green, and blue. So you can see from that quite clearly that the red light is transmitted with higher intensity than the green light and likewise the green light is transmitted with higher intensity than the, than the blue light or in other words the blue light is scattered more than the green light and the green light is scattered more than the red light.